Good morning. This is Lori from Arkansas Yarn Company. And by the time you see this, it's not going to be morning because it takes a long time for things to load up from the store. So it'll most likely be loaded up when I get home tonight. But I thought I would give everybody an opportunity to see some of the things that we have in the store that are new to us and we're super excited about. So the number one thing that we're super excited about right now is the Harry Potter Knitting Magic Book. We let me tell y'all something. There is nothing in this book that we do not want to knit. Absolutely nothing. Everything is from photo to photo to photo is absolutely amazing. Um, this, look at that. This is the highest on Jessica's priority list. It's absolutely adorable. Look at that. Harry Potter Knitting Magic. We have it on the shop. Uh, just go to ArkansasYarnCo.com and uh, the book is there. And I will tell you it's higher than it is at Amazon, but I can't buy in bulk like that. But um, we're, we love it. There's many, many things in here that we want to knit. And so stay tuned for that. Some of the other things that are new to the shop are um, some yarn. And I dyed recently a really beautiful color called Serenity. This is it. This is Serenity on Super Sparkle. And can y'all see, look at all the sparkle. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I specialize in sparkle yarn. And I know that not everybody is a fan of sparkle yarn. So I dyed it on plush. And it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Serenity. One of the things that I decided to do, and I really like to do this, is dye colors that are companions. So I dyed Dragonfly. Dragonfly and Serenity go together. They're the same purples. Look at the sparkle, because it's on Super Sparkle as always, I'm always gonna die on Super Sparkle, but it's also on plush. So you're gonna see together on plush. It's beautiful. These are rich, rich purples. This teal, it's, a, it's more of a green teal, but it's beautiful. And it loved, I love how it broke into some more limey green, golden colors in here, super pretty. So, I really wanted to have another companion, so I dyed Maddie Jade. Maddie Jade is the exact color in Serenity and Dragonfly. So they go together absolutely gorgeous. They're in the shop. They are as uh, $32 for my Super Sparkle, or all my Sparkle is 32, and all of my Non Sparkle is 28. So, you can go into the shop and take a look. Right now, if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen that I've been test knitting for Cheryl from Hypnotic Yarn. She has a gorgeous knit uh, that's about to come out as a hat. And I'm getting that on my love. This is the Super Sparkle Base. I mean, I'm sorry, it's the Signature Sparkle Base. It's super lush. It has a high twist. Lots and lots of contrast, lots of contrast, and it's beautiful. This is love, and if you can see it knitted on my uh, test knit, that's right on my Instagram page, and it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So, you also know that we're super numb crazy around here, and I mean numb crazy. So, um, we have been a participating dyer with uh, Sarah from Imagine Landscape, and I uh, only have four, I think I have four Love in Sparkle left, and I have one in Mystic Sparkle left, and that is it out of almost a hundred sets. But, uh, for the new Ilmcal that's coming along, it's Ilmcal number three, hashtag gnome Ilmcal three. Um, we'll get you some more information or you can go over to Imagine Landscape. We're super excited for that mystery knit along to start on um, 
February 12th, on, on the 12th. It's almost coming up. But um, as everyone knows, I really love dyeing gnomes for holidays. And so I recently dyed this little Mardi Gras guy. I haven't had a chance to knit him up yet, but as you can tell, I'm like really loving pinks and or oranges, um, purples and greens right now. And this is like, I'm sorry for the um, packaging, but look at my little gnome, he's so cute. The purple, the it's a royal, deep royal purple with lots of highs, lots of lows. And then this one here in the middle is absolutely gorgeous. It's purples and it's golds and it's some of this really um, shamrocky kind of green color. And then there's the green. And then I will always send a micro for hands, nose, um, hands and nose. So um, I don't really have to send uh, 10 grams, but I just think it's the right thing to do. So you're always gonna find um, four skeins in my mini kits. And then uh, right before that came out for Christmas, I don't know if everybody saw this or not, but I did a uh, Jolly Old Saint Nick. And I again apologize that there is a really rich Christmas red, a really gorgeous micro striping red, green, white. I gave you some black. So if you wanted to knit a little Santa belt for him, you can. And then I also gave you another micro. All of this is on, on Sparkle and you can do the brim of his hat. And here's what mine look like. Is he precious? Look at him, he's so cute. I'm gonna turn him around so you can see his little belt. And one thing that I do with mine is I put a little washer down here in the bottom and it lets it stand up super nicely. But look how cute he is. In retrospect, I wish I had put a little bit of white down here at the bottom because I think it would have just kind of um, completed the little, whole little Santa, but um, he's super cute. And I also wanna tell you that I also give you some of this super fuzzy yarn, and I give you my little pattern that I, uh, I just made up for the beard, and then I always go back in here and I give him a little trim to make it look a little bit prettier. So this is, you're gonna get that, that beard hair, that beard yarn in there. So, and then the other little gnome that I did, because I'm addicted to these things, y'all, is Frosty the Gnome Man. Frosty the Gnome Man is so precious. So, you're getting a 20 gram skein of micro. You're getting a, it's not quite black, y'all. It is, it's that black that's lived in, um, because he's a snowman, and a lot of people would have put a, shabbier, not so pretty, leftover, run down hat on him. So that's what I did. And then I gave you two other 20 gram minis to make a scarf for him. So um, I gave a royal blue because I think that would be really pretty on that white. And then I also gave this micro stripe orange, um, red, green, and white. There's a little, little bitty micro, mini, mini micro, skein of an orange in here for his nose and then same thing right here is a brown so you can make arms for him so that you have that whole snowman look here's mine he's super cute i don't know if you can tell from this camera or not but i gave him a little scrunched up hat because i wanted it to look beaten up i gave him a little nose and I just kind of rolled it and made it a little bit more on the pointy side. I decided to make him a scarf that I knit on the diagonal and you can just um, come up with a little pattern all of your own. But what I did was I Googled a, um, well, I, I searched for a diagonal scarf and then I did it in like, I think I'd used only five stitches. One thing that I did do, and then I also put in some little coal for his buttons. But one thing I did do with this one is, I probably would do it differently. I probably would decrease next time. But what I did was I knitted until I thought his hat or his little neck, his little head would be. And then I went down three needle sizes in here, which is excellent. 
except it's not that great when you're starting to go back up to your bigger size needle, which I knit this on a one and a half. So, because I like mine to be super nice and tight. Again, I used washers down here at the bottom so they stand up nicely. In retrospect, I probably would decrease some of these stitches to give that same indention, but I really wanted them to have an indention. Isn't he cute? We have uh, all of these gnome kits in the shop right now. Just go to ArkansasYarnCo.com and uh, you can Google gnomes. We're working on our website. We're getting a brand new website. It's like a big girl website. We're super excited about it. There's gonna be a lot of changes. There's gonna be a lot of Instagram pictures on it. So when you knit things with my yarn, you have a chance to show up on our website, which I'm super excited about. So everybody around here knows that I love, love, love color. So um, I got some new colorful things to help us with our knitting. Have y'all seen Coco Knits? Coco Knits. I'm like so, so, so in love with these. And this is called a uh, stitch marker tasting set. And it has this really pretty little magnetic box. When you open it up, there are all of these, I'm sorry, I should have had these turned nicely for you but there's all these little tubes of markers or stitch markers, progress keepers, whatever you wanna use them for. And um, they're really pretty. So this is what they look like. And they're little. I mean, they're so absolutely adorable. These teeny tiny and they're metal and they're colorful. And we absolutely are in love with them. And so, you get, um, I don't remember how many you get in, in uh, these, you, let's see. I'm not sure how many you get of these in, in these little things. It's not terribly many, but it's not a lot either. And um, so they're really nice. And if you decide that you need more, we have bigger containers of them. And they're all colored that is exactly the same as what's in these little tubes. This is just a tasting. And then you get you get um, 60 in these. And they're only $10 and they're magnetic. There's also these little bands that you can wear. And so if you're going to be doing a lot of lace knitting and you're putting markers in uh, consistently across your row, the little bracelet's perfect because you can pick them off and put them right on uh, your knitting as you come to them. So the other, the other little sets that come in this box are jumbo. Here's the jumbo that's in here. Look y'all. They're absolutely beautiful. And y'all know I like the pink one the best. But they're absolutely gorgeous. We love them. And then there's, so the next is, so that was the jumbo, and then there's regular. The regular, the regular size are like this. Nice size, they're super nice size. I mean, they fit up to probably a size 10 needle. This is a lime green one, pink, blue, purple, orange, and uh, yellow. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love these, but my very favorite one that comes in this set, so I just showed you these three. The next one is the triangle, and uh, I'm, I'm like so in love with the triangle. It's super cute. They're adorable. Again, I think it's fun knitting with the triangle progress keepers because they're, they sit, they just sit so nicely on the needle. They come in all the colors that I've already shown you and they're so beautiful. Probably my favorite thing out, so I've showed you the triangle, probably the, my favorite thing out of the whole flight um, of stitch markers is this little, this one here on the end that's a split ring. It's super cool in that it's not a perfect circle. And why that's so nice is because it will lay on your project nice. And I love, I love that there's this little divot 
thing right in the center. And it keeps things, it doesn't slide around and it doesn't slide, you know, sometimes it kind of slides off. I just love it. All different gorgeous colors. We are really, really, really enjoying these. They're super pretty. So, uh, all of them come in these bigger sizes where you get 60 markers, 10 bucks. You're, if you're interested in this flight, it's $25, or $24, sorry, for all of these, and this is what they look like. I love them. They also have these cute, and I'm like addicted to these little mini tins. It has their logo on it. It's super adorable. Look what they look like. Black and white triangles. They're super cute. Teeny tiny ones. And I mean little, 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 little. They're so cool. The black and white are probably my very favorite and y'all know I love color. So uh, anyway, we are, these are like, Five dollars. They're on. They're also on their website. We love them. We're going to be trying to do more of these little update shop updates for y'all. I haven't always done a lot of videos because I've been pretty camera shy, and um, we're going to start podcasting. It's going to be Arkansas. It's going to be called Arkansas Yarncast, and it's going to be with Jessica and myself. So that's going to be super fun to have Jessica in with me. I think y'all are going to enjoy getting to know her. She's super quiet, but um, as y'all know from all of our posts, she is such a talented knitter. I'm so proud of her, and I'm so thrilled to be working with her daily, and we're not killing each other, and you know, cause sometimes it's hard for moms and daughters to work together, but we're having a really great time, and we're uh, really loving it. Um, I have a wrist ruler on. It has my logo stamped into it. These are also on our website. And um, I think that's about all the updates that y'all probably need for now, but um, it's been a lot of fun. I have a lot of yarn. I have a lot of new yarns coming, and um, we're super excited. All of the yarn that we have in our store is about to be put online in our store, and in our online store, and um, Hedgehog, Madeline Tosh, Malabrigo, all kinds of Malabrigo colors, y'all. Um, we're loving it. The more we sell, the more bases we'll start carrying, and um, we can get anything that you're looking for almost always if it's not a discontinued color. Um, we're happy, happy, happy to be able to order for y'all. Um, almost everything in the store is up in the website now, so take a look at it and uh, let us know what you think. And um, have a very good day. Talk to y'all later. Bye.